Well, let's start our program out this evening. We'll get to some questions from viewers in just a moment, but let's start our program out because we're getting near uh, crunch time with the legislature. It's not We're not quite there yet, uh, but as we get closer to the end of the session, uh, we hear more and more discussion about uh, the capital investment bill and what it might look like uh, to the general public. We refer to that as the bonding bill. Uh, and we have a number of legislators here who have some background in that. Let's start with you, Senator Dames, and then we'll go to Representative Hausman, and then to Repre Representative Lasuro, and then and then Senator Swazinski on the on the bonding bill. What what do you see transpiring there? Anything that you'd like to advise our viewers of at this point, Senator Dames, floor is yours. Well, this fall we went out and we did a bonding tour, and we visited various communities. I think we. Uh, we went out for five weeks, and usually those would be four-day weeks, and so we did have a tour of the entire state, uh, including the metropolitan and the inner city area. Uh, we visited probably about 200 different projects, and so now we've had two meetings uh, in the Capitol here since we've been in session, and uh, the first meeting was to go through the governor's budget. The last meeting, which was yesterday, we went through a lot of the uh, – the uh, asset uh, preservation projects for the University of Minnesota and the State College, Minnesota State. So uh, we've been out and we've looked at a lot of projects. Uh, now the next step is we'll have a couple more meetings internally and then we'll start putting together the bonding bill. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of questions about how much the bonding bill will be. And, uh, you know, I'm kind of thinking we're probably going to be somewhere in that one to one and a half billion, maybe push two billion, but I would say the two would be probably the upper limit that we'll be at, but uh, a lot of good projects. I think that the chair, uh, Senator Bach, is looking at focusing a lot on asset preservation in this bonding trip. And so rather than looking at new buildings, we're looking at a lot of uh, asset preservation for a lot of the buildings we have, especially in the colleges and the state colleges. So all in all, I think we'll have a pretty robust uh, pretty robust bill. We looked at a lot of great projects, both in Twin City area and out state. So uh, I think there's a lot of projects to do. There's probably, if we, I'd say there's a good $6 billion in request of projects. So of course about, you know, we probably do a little less than a third of that at the end of the system. But uh, in the bonding bill, I'm sure like usual, will be will be, well, it will be probably the last bill we do. That's kind of typical in an off year, non-budget year and a policy year. So I would assume that will be a bill we'll handle Saturday and Sunday, the last, uh, last part of the session, but that remains to be seen. Uh, Re Representative Hausman, um, let's talk about the bonding bill. Uh, there has been uh, some concern about, uh, I, I've had a couple of uh, viewers who have expressed a concern or an interest in a new chemistry building on the, on the campus of the University of Minnesota and wondering about the status of that. And, uh, and I'm just wondering, um, I realize that uh, um, this might not be right, right in your bailiwick now, but let's talk a little bit about the bonding bill and what you see might be happening there. Yes, it's particularly uh, the damage we have been doing to higher education that I'd like to talk a little bit about. Uh, I have been a, an outspoken um, uh, critic of the governor rebranding the bonding bill as the local jobs and projects bill. That's how he has rebranded it. It used to be the exact opposite of that. If you had a project in capital investment, you had to demonstrate if all the taxpayers in the state are going to pay for this, what is the regional or statewide significance of this? The opposite of local projects. And the moment the rebranding was done, there was an explosion of bill introductions with local projects, local projects. Those are earmarks. I will tell you early on, I learned about capital investment from people like Senator Langseth, Representative Lieber, uh, Greater Minnesota people who had a long history uh, in uh, infrastructure. And they understood um, that earmarking projects isn't a good idea, that it undermines the work of state agencies. Um, and so I, uh, I've just been uh, very, very frustrated uh, by that rebranding and the move to massive m uh, amounts of uh, earmarks and local projects. They fight with the big loser in this has been higher education, because the more we do that, the less we do for asset preservation. The more we do that, the less we do for higher education um, academic facilities all over the state. Um, just a frustration in terms of 
how we are, how we, our culture has changed. Uh, Representative Cyril, uh, the you, you you're on capital investment, I believe you indicated uh, bonding bill. Um, any any observations about that? If you have anything to share with our viewers about the undergraduate chemistry building on the on the campus of the university, I'm sure they'd be interested in that too. But uh, regardless of the specific projects, talk to us a little bit about the process and what you see happening with the bonding bill. So in my eight years in office, uh, and Representative Houseman, I think, has been in office for 32 years, I have uh, not served on any committees with her uh, or cross paths with her in any, any other uh, legislation I don't think we've teamed on. But what she just said in regards to a philosophy of the bonding bill, I completely agree with. Uh, you know, the entire purpose of, of capital investment uh, should be the following. And by the way, I'm saying this as a first term or first time member of the capital investment. Uh, but I'm learning a lot on the committee and having listened to many of the, the different bills, uh, the following philosophy is what it should be taking place. And unfortunately, I don't see that's what's happening. And that is the state has assets uh, across the state, such as prisons, such as uh, uh, college, uh, university buildings, and uh, historical society type buildings uh, across the state, all different shapes, flavors, ages. And these buildings are depreciating. They're having roofs that need to be replaced. They have HVAC systems that need to be replaced. There, there could be uh, different safety requirements that, that are now out of code that need to be brought up to date, uh, a whole host of things. And when a state owns a building like a prison, it is the state's responsibility to ensure that building is, is you know, fixed and modern and uh, operating uh, efficiently. But when we see these mix of local projects, uh, I'm just dumbfounded at, at what I've been seeing. So I wholeheartedly agree with Chair Halsman in that uh, we really do need to prioritize uh, for those statewide or regional significant type projects. That's what I'll be continuing to push for uh, as a member of the, the Capital Investment Committee. Uh, Senator Zosinski. I'm not on bonding, but um, I've enjoyed what Alice and Eric just said because I, I, I think I tend to agree with that. And it seems like we've maybe gotten away from that, as Alice said, with more earmarks than investments in state-owned properties. I was at the U in the late 70s, early 80s. You had to wear your winter jacket in class. Um, the buildings were just so cold and and just run down. And I'm just glad to see that um, people that came before me saw fit to invest in the U because now those buildings like Filewell Hall, you can sit in a, just a comfortable shirt and attend class, unlike when I was there. So, But I do appreciate your comment about higher ed, too. The the one, um, I'm very grateful that um, Sandy Pappas, the chair in the, the Democratic um, Caucus on bonding, has been very nice, always um, asking all of us, what, what do you need? What do you want? And so I think we're going to get a new roof here in, at Hennepin tech in Eden Prairie out of the bonding bill, I hope. Um, anyways. Yeah.